who or what do you think people care about the most let me ask you who or what do you think people share uh, care about the most i believe benefits what they get from the deal or the product or service in general i mean in general what do you think people who who or what do you think people care about the most the way they are treated okay peace of mind okay honesty and uh, transparency very simple if you can keep it very simple your these are all good responses but if you can keep things very simple who or what do you think people care about the most themselves hmm. right so uh, i i got some of the good answers and i already got the correct answer also but let me narrate this through the story what do i mean by that so there was a story about a hungry tiger mm, maybe some of you have heard of the story uh, your voice some... is not that audible hello hello yeah, now it's me? audible yeah 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 so there's a story about a hungry tiger maybe some of you have heard the story some of you have not but if you have not uh, it's going to really change your perspective that's so the story goes like this uh, once there was a tiger who escaped from a zoo okay and the tiger escapes from the zoo and the tiger is pretty intelligent okay is a pretty smart tiger uh, he just escapes from the zoo and he basically escapes and he goes into a corporate office he basically hides himself in a corporate office he goes early in the morning the guard is sleeping <laughs> the security systems are not working we are resuming all that and he just goes into the corporate office nobody is in the office and at that time and he hides himself in the men's bathroom he goes and you know the I, like i said the tiger is pretty intelligent he just goes and hides himself in one of the uh, bathroom stalls men's bathroom stall he kind of gets his paws and he kind of closes the door so people think that the stall is occupied but he is the tiger is inside one, one of the stalls now as time goes by it's 9 am 10 am the tiger starts getting a little hungry he wants breakfast so what happens is that a mid level official you could say manager or mid level official kind of walks in and we are assuming this is like after post covid or pre covid so everybody is in the office and nobody is working from home yet so <laughs> the tiger uh, uh, the manager or the mid level official he basically goes uh, into the bathroom the tiger attacks the manager gets him unconscious drags him into the stall closes the stall and basically starts to eat him now my question is this how many people in the office uh, how many people in the office looked for that manager generally <coughs> generally how many people in the office would have lo uh, looked for that senior manager maybe no one almost everyone are you sure No, no, it's COVID time. Are you sure? No. When the when no. the when the school teacher does not appear for a class, do you look for her? Depends. Yes, yes. I mean, if you are a student, if you are a student, see, if you are a principal, you will look for her. If you are a principal or if you are a senior guard, you might look for her. But if you are a student, will you look when the teacher disappears, or will you just do party? will do party <laughs> why, why why would you 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 probably wouldn't if you're a student we are assuming that the manager was senior level or whatever so uh, assuming that the all, even more senior people haven't come yet and everybody in the office is junior to that person so how many people would have looked for the manager almost no almost one everybody. no one so no, almost say. no one because the fact is like i yeah. gave you the example unless there's a very important thing going on the fact What of the matter security is security guard the security guard would be there no and he knows only one person is inside the office so no no least, no this guy no, will look for him no 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 all other people are also start uh, that i'm saying that this happened around 10 am so other people are also coming into the office now almost 25 30 people are now in the office this is not work from home people are in the office and let's say they are all junior to the manager or whatever the manager goes inside the bathroom he is not he is gone how many people will look for the manager manager's boss boss is not here boss is not boss is coming late so, 
So whenever he comes, he only find, he only will find. So, so the point is, reporting to him. So the point is, the point is that just like the students who will not look for the teacher who's disappeared, most of the people in the office they are not going to look for the manager, and that is what exactly what happened. The uh, nobody looked for the manager. The tiger ate the manager, and you know whatever happened. Now after this. somewhere around let's say uh, you know even the more senior people uh, the most uh, senior people in the office they came and uh, uh, nobody really thought of the manager everybody was busy with the work and between this incident also many people went to the bath bathroom but the tiger was not hungry kitna logo how many how many people will he eat so he was not hungry so he uh, just he just kept the, sto- the stall uh, closed so people just went in uh, came out and all that now around uh, 2 pm a very senior level official you can say the most senior most official he goes into the or senior level official you can say he goes into the bathroom and uh, the tiger again attacks him now the question is how many people in the office looked for him no one probably in no one mostly no one mostly no one is that he started from his I I used to give the example of the finance finance ka person and all that. So mostly people would not look for the finance accounts person also unless it's the time for the salary. Then they will look for him. <laughs> Otherwise they will probably not look for even the chief accounts or the uh, finance officer. Anyway, so this guy also went in at 2 p.m. The tiger was hungry by 2 p.m. He also attacked this guy, drove, uh, dragged him into the stall, and he ate him, and nobody came to help him. Now now the time is around 4:30 p.m. Okay, the tiger is not feeling that hungry, but the tiger, I told you, it's pretty smart. He knows that uh, in the evening people will leave the office and I need dinner. So what he decides is the next person that comes in, I am not going to kill him immediately. I am just going to make him unconscious and I am going to have him for dinner later on. I'll just I'm just going to have him for dinner later on. But right now I'm just going to make him unconscious. So at 4:30 p.m. the person the person who steps into the bathroom when the tiger is ready to attack him at 4:30 pm is that officer's chai wala and the tiger attacks the chai wala knocks him down unconscious now at 4:30 pm how many in the office looked for the chai wala everyone everyone everybody. everybody started looking for the tea boy because at 4:30 pm their greatest desire was to get tea and they managed to find the i mean they somehow managed to find the tea tea boy and then they got security from outside and you know they kind of managed to save the tea boy so what is the lesson that you get from this story people what do you what who or what do you think people care about the most do they care about honor virtue justice all of this is important but what do they care about the most sir the voice is coming bit low i self interest hello can you hear me now yeah yeah what do people care about the most who or what do you think people care about the most self interest people don't care about you they don't even care about the product they only care about what you or the product can do for them people don't care about you they only care about what you can do for them so who or what do you think people care about the most person as, as they uh, as the person correctly said in the beginning themselves or they only care about what you can do for them so even when you are pitching your product they are not caring about you as a sales person they are not caring about i mean relationships do matter to a certain degree but ultimately at the end of the day they only care about what you or the product can do for them benefits Hmm. Uh, I mean, we'll we'll talk about it, but they care about themselves the most. This is the one thing that we have to remember. People don't care about anything; they care about themselves the most. Even when a parent cares for the child, remember that love is because of a selfish reason. Because that child is their biological offspring. That's why they are loving the child. Or even if they care for somebody else, it is because of the selfish emotion there in in their own heart. They are not doing some charity. remember that so you might think that the per- parent is caring about the child but it is still again they are caring about themselves because that child is bringing that sort of emotion in their heart do you agree yes even when they care about the child you might think they are not caring about themselves 
but the child is an extension of themselves that's why that's the point or when a when a when a uh, when a uh, girl cares about a boy or when a boy cares about a girl it seems they are caring about the person but they are actually caring about the emotions the other person brings out in their own heart so they don't care about you they only care about what you can do for them now knowing that people care more about themselves more than anything else what differences can you make to your sales pitches in the future tell me maybe you can type it or maybe you can uh, uh, speak also okay in the sales pitch uh, like i can add what benefit they will get if they adopt the product uh, and add the benefit them... but mostly even for the benefit what you have to for, my my point here is that uh, benefit is okay but what will that benefit do for them you know i i am just trying to go even deeper than the benefit yeah so you might say okay 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 so you might say the the feature is this we'll talk about feature benefit etc also later on but what difference can you make in your sales pitch so that understanding the fact that anybody who is making the buying decision cares more about themselves more than anything else what difference can you make to your sales pitch or let's try to show their roi okay but the roi will be... matter to whom will the roi matter to the low level person or will the roi matter to somebody who's spending out out spending the money out yeah, of the, the financial financial decision maker that person i'm talking with was then only that person uh, will give the positive feedback it if should be I'll, customer oriented if no. if i'll talk to the principal and i'll talk about the benefit of the chairman then she'll hardly take uh, any interest if i'll talk to the principal and uh, showing the benefits of her then she'll take the interest and if i'll uh, talking to the uh, hods and i'll giving a benefits of her then uh, she'll take the interest very Same important thing. very important point of uh, what's your name priyanka sharma yeah priyanka okay uh, i i sorry i can't see on the screen that's why i'm just hearing your voice that's why i'm asking the question so priyanka mentioned a very good point that and which is similar to basically uh, what has been written here that when you speak to the principal you speak from the principal's point of view by what what benefit will the principal get when you speak to the end user or some influencer you know influencer in the decision making process some other let's say hod or whatever then you speak from their point of view when you speak to the management you speak from their point of view because ultimately they care more about themselves even more than the product ultimately they care more about themselves even more than the product because see ultimately what happens is that even if the product has a certain kind of a feature or certain kind of a thing how does that benefit the principal maybe it it makes him or her look good maybe it, it makes him or her look more professional for having such software you know everything has to be touched upon so a very good point by priyanka anybody else want to say anything we'll try to understand the pain points of kdm and uh, we'll make the tailor made presentation uh, rakesh says talk about the good things and achievements to a certain degree but it should not look like flattery to many pura you know not too much makhanwazi no no makhan it's not makhanwazi i i meant to say the same thing which priyanka wanted to say Haan. when you are in front of anybody uh, maybe in a group or Talk uh, good things which values them so that uh, yes that was my point it was in short so okay anyone else in sales identify, so identify the pain areas and then show them how you, uh, their life is going to become simpler by offering your product or services or whatever okay okay so we are showing them how we are reducing their workload and increasing the productivity of the stakeholders okay okay but productivity is not always important to every stakeholder for basically, some people prestige is more important basically the convenience that we are adding in their day to day life hmm hmm okay right right good points all are good points so anyway in a nutshell uh, i think i think uh, priyanka really put it best in my opinion when she said that when you are speaking to a specific person 
appeal to that that pers uh, person's point so uh, when you speak into the principal you say that okay you talk about how it benefits the principal when you speak to the hod you're not going to pitch the wrong point to the wrong person are you getting it jaise when you talk about productivity when you talk about roi uh the hod is not that much they might be concerned but they are not that much concerned the management is the most concerned with that uh, do you agree yes right yes. so you have to mention the right point to the right person that's very important 